Hello, my fish fam! It's Nikachu here, Merfolk Master, playing Legacy again. Now, uh, Legacy has been doing pretty well for me overall, because I went 3-0 in one of the side events at Minneapolis and got myself an Italian Legends booster. Overall, my record was 6-3. The games were sort of weird. I mean, I either got lucky or my opponents got, or I got unlucky or my opponents got really unlucky. There was a lot of non-games, so can't really say much about the deck. But at the same time, um, I've played in, like, my league record is great. I do very well. My win rate is probably, like, 72%. But whenever I play in a challenge, and I've played in three challenges now, I went 3-4 in one, I went 4-3 in another, and I went 2-6 in, in the last one. And I can't say I've been drawing well, but still my opponents are playing well, and I'm not getting the results. So I got to adjust the deck and then see, you know, where can I pivot this damn thing. But uh, it's re what's really good news is that People in the community are hyped for Legacy Merfolk. The Discord is being more active than ever before. People are winning with the deck, which is very, very important. And uh, hopefully we can start pushing this in the right direction. Maybe for everyone that's... Where is it? This one? Default? No, default. There we go. I think this is more or less the default shell. I think the deck is off by about... What is this? Six... Twelve cards? Like, I think this by default is what the deck at least needs, and then whatever you want to put on top of that is up to you. So there's many configurations still to be had. And I think Days is still playable. If you play Days, you probably have to get rid of Ottawara. But uh, in my opinion, this is the shell to the deck, and then uh, whatever you want to use as your own spice. Yeah, yeah well, figure it out. Let's help innovate. Let's innovate this deck. Straight to tier 1 status. Alright, what am I going to do today? I'm scrapping all the tricksters because I find that it's like only... Basically only good versus like impactful in the Delver matchup. Which is a common matchup, mind you. I mean like at least 10% of your matchups are going to be Delver. So I'm going to go all on Mistcaller. Four Mistcallers. That lets me take Force Negation out of my sideboard. Because I'm really just bringing in... For I, I bring in Force Negation versus very few decks. Not like Reanimator, Show and Tell, some Storm decks, and it's like awkward versus Storm sometimes. Um, but it's still good. Still good. Uh, and so anyway, I'm going to see how well I can perform without Force without force Negation. Instead, replacing with some Chalice of the Void. By the way, I'm only playing Chalice on zero versus the Storm decks. I, and I mainly want some Chalices because I want extra hate versus eight cast. Like uh, my record versus eight cast is not good enough. The game, and when I win, the games are too close. So we're going to play some more Artifact Hate. Like a sixth piece of Artifact Hate, to be honest. So Chalice of the Void is coming in on zero versus all the decks I'm bringing in. So Storm, uh, the Storm and Eight Cast. But also, I will bring it in on one versus Control. Versus Boy, for versus Jeskai Control, I'll do that. Because that matchup seems to be tough, and it's all based around one drops. And the difference between Control and Delver is Delver has some beating, three power beat creature beating down on me on turn one and turn two. Versus Control, they have nothing beating down on me very early on in the game. Uh, and we're going all in on Phantasmal Image. Again, another card that'd be useful versus Rian or use, useful versus Show and Tell. But also, I think it's hope. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to be the difference versus Initiative decks. And I'm bumping up the Dismembers here for Initiative. I also have two Surgical Extraction. This oh, could, yeah. be, it could be Relic of Progenitus. I don't know which one's better. We have Surgical, mostly for Uro. Mostly for Uro. So they put an Uro in the graveyard. Like, the whole game will revolve around Uro. Uh, but not after I destroy it with surgical get rid of it with surgical extraction but it could be it could be relic but relic only deals with one uro this deals with all the uros there'll be no more uros to be had after that card uh those are all the weird adjustments that i've made all right let's hope this more beat down version of the deck uh does us justice let's play go let's get into a league constructed 100 play points Now let's play. Epic Merfolk time. That's right. The only thing I don't like about Magic, you get better the more you make... You, you, you get better the more you make in life. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I, I see Nikachu playing uh, one drop all my work for the day and watch it. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You drop all your work for the day. Yeah, you see me and it's time to play. Time to get into the game. I forget, can I like pause this? Is there a pausing feature? 
I would love to be able to pause the recording. No, just stop the thing. Can't remember, yeah. But if there was a pause, that'd be great, because then I could just basically cut out all the dead time waiting for games. Popper. Popper is the answer. Also, limited equalizes the playing field. Both are highly skill intensive and lower cost. Oh, the get you get better the more you make and like you mean the more money you earn. I see. Well, that depends. It depends. It depends on the deck you want to play. Hey, look, eight cast has no reserve list cards, and it's like the second best deck in the format. Killmaster P. We have a hand of cards, and we lost the die roll. I'm gonna keep it. We have a decent hand on the draw against a variety of ducks. Oh no, is it goblins? Oh, it's human. Hmm. Well, I can't counter it, so. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing, the same trick Rooney, but we have an Aether Vial instead. Now, Mother of Runes is a bit of an annoying card to get through because it's fe effectively. Uh, an unblockable creature versus us. I mean, sorry, not unblockable. Uh, it can make unblockables, but it's an infinite blocker. What is this? Tomic, Distinguish. Flying lands on the battlefield and land cards in your graveyard can't be the target spells or abilities in your opponent's control. Your opponents can't play land cards from graveyards. That is useless versus us. Sure. I still can't counter it. Can't counter it. A lot of humans in this deck. Is this just a human deck? So we're gonna play Silver Gill Adept. Reveal Mist Caller. Ooh, this is great. Okay, this is exactly what we needed, actually. Okay, Merfolk. So we need that last land, and then we can start cloning our true name uh, with the Phantasmal Image, and that's the beatdown that we land. needed. There we go. All right, so we're on track to beat our opponents down. Our opponent is not on track to beat us down. Atomic card shuts off Wasteland. Well, let's see what they're gonna do. Let's see what they're gonna do do. Attack me for two in the air. All right, I got no blockers. I was thinking of playing Skydiver. Leaving Skydiver is a very interesting game. No! My plans, I had plans, damn it. Okay, uh, yeah, it's gone. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait on that true name. Can I counter this? When enters the battlefield, exile target player's graveyard, sack it, humans you control again, hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Okay, sure. This is just, this is hate bears, the deck. Okay, now we're now a land short from the true name. True name and shame. I still can't attack through any of this stuff. We're probably gonna tick the vial up. Um, anyway, I can't attack because they could just easily block with anything. Yeah, they can block with anything. I'll just pass the turn with Hexcatcher up. We might get tempoed out here. We get hit for four. Cause it's a it's a little bit of a while before I get to do anything. All right, no blocks. Because they're at a fresh 40 life. This stupid mother of runes. Okay, they didn't do anything. It's good news for us. It's what we wanted to see. And here. Do they have flash creatures? Hopefully they don't. Did you make your own mother of runes? Uh, I could, but I don't want to. Um, attack, I guess. And then we'll play True Name and then play Phantasmal Image. Excellent choice. Well done. We have a Mist Caller to use on a. Force uh, of Will food. Yeah, force, it's Force of Will food for Path to Exile. Alright, this looks pretty good. We got 8 power in play. They got a clock too, though. I mean, I gotta, like, whatever they play, I gotta force a will it. I'm hoping not everything is a human in this deck. 
Scrubland. I got my McDonald's blueberry pomegranate smoothie. It's not bad. This is one advantage going all in on... Oh, oh yes, you don't feel so confident attacking with that stupid guy anymore. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so everything's slowing down. If they don't play anything this turn, then I'm assuming they're flooding. This guy's pretty good. Okay, or gal, I should say. Adeline, Vigilance. Power is equal to the number of creatures you control. When you have you attack, for each opponent, create a 1-1 one, one white uh, human soldier creature token, blah, blah, blah. Does it attack? Tapped and attacking that player or a planeswalker they control, sure. So what do I about to get steamrolled. Well, Here comes another... Uh... True name? Also good. That is good. I like that card. So uh, it gives me some room to attack with actually nothing. I can't really attack through this thing. But it gives me a two turn clock with the true name, so. And I don't think they have a lethal attack anywhere soon. Ten power! Ten power, that's right. Let's go. <laughs> Boom! So even if they get rid of the lords. Well, one lord. Right. Wouldn't be enough. Three, two, and I can still force one. a will uh, swords to plowshares if they try to swords their own creature. That was early. I was doing well, they're probably going to attack and see what I do. No. So it's not death and tax. It's literally humans. I don't know if that's yeah. a deck and legacy, but that's probably going to be a lot easier. To, it probably is a lot easier to deal with than death and taxes, but like... These creatures don't do very much versus us. Like, okay, you shut off my wasteland. I'll, I'll still use it to tap for mana. So probably we want dismember. Uh, no. Did they add legendary? Is Adeline a legendary creature? I think Adeline was a legendary. I think they're all legendary creatures. What was that board state? Okay, I'm bringing in the Caracas. Maybe it'll take out one wasteland. This probably doesn't look that relevant. Can I bring in four cards? Okay, I'll take out... I think I'll take... Oh, no, hold on. I should take out Force of Will. Yeah, we'll bring... Because they have Cavernous Souls. I could be wrong about this Force of Will. But I think we'll, we'll, t we'll just take it out. It's because if they don't have Cavernous Souls, Force of Will is a huge tempo swing in a matchup like this. Okay, uh, so... Submit. But flooding out on Force Will would be terrible. And there's usually like one target. Like you can hit a Ether Vial. You can hit Ether Vial. You can hit um what's it called? Uh again, Swords to Plowshares. Mother runes again. Mother Effer. Okay, we've got the true name though. True name's on the way. Okay, let's see if we can turn one of these planes into an island before they can do anything about it. Silas, Lieutenant! Mom gonna get into the red zone. Or not. I don't know what I want to do here. I think I want to play Cow... Like... Oh, Silas, Lieutenant looks strong, though. Okay, I could go Wasteland Tide Shaper for nothing. But it also looks equally important to try to get the true the true name out. I feel like I'm under pressure here already. These might be the only two lines he's got. It could be. I mean I could also go Cavern of Souls, Tide Shaper, hit the planes. And next turn then next turn Wasteland the Scrubland. Okay, I don't want to fall into this trap with Wasteland. I am behind. Like, I've, I've done this before, where I'll, like, I'm behind on the board. And I'm like, well, if I, if I Wasteland and they don't play anything else, I win. But the problem is, if I wait... Like, I could Wasteland, they play land and go Thou's Lieutenant, then I'm lost. So, like, okay, let's not get into the Wasteland trap. Let's just play cards. Maybe I'll even play my own Wasteland first. To play Silver Guild, if they wasteland me, they can hit the wasteland instead of the Cavernous Souls. 
Okay, actually, what's even more important? Maybe getting a Lord in play is even more important. I'm downloading Empty Geo right now. Okay. I've never played it before. Uh, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass and hold up Hex Catcher. And then next turn, depending what they do, we'll go Tide Shaper on the planes and then Wasteland them. It all depends on what they do. Bobby! That really sucks. Yeah, that resolves. Not thrilled about that card at all. Okay, no blocks. Yeah, dang about because the thing is Bob will guarantee that they draw a card. Like they'll get the land. So now I don't want to be on the mon uh, the mana screw plan at all. Well, at least not for the next turn or so. Merfolk. Play our true name. That at least will force the Mother of Runes to do something. Or I guess they could attack with whatever they want. We make the appropriate blocks. Okay, and we'll pass. But if they if they pass no land, yeah, I will Tide Shaper and waste strip mine them. Pop. Yeah, this is a league. Champion. This is literally humans. I haven't seen a Dark Confidant in forever. I don't know. Another, okay, Esper Sentinel, buffing everything up. So we could probably just die this Mother of Runes, making something unblockable. This doesn't do anything. Unless you want to tap the Mother of Runes, which in that case, that can be risky business. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to rack them next turn. I don't have to play Tide Shaper, right? I'm definitely not going to play the Vile. Okay, I could go Tide Shaper, hit the planes, strip mine this this thing. But they could if they just top deck any land, they could play stuff. They could, but they would not be able to. Um, no, they're not. Or I play Lord of Atlantis this turn and Silver Gill Adapt. Or Lord of Atlantis and Tide Shaper. It'd be sort of nice to just counterattack here. That would be ideal. We also have Silver Gill Adept. Decisions, decisions. Or you can make. Oh no, you don't have. Okay, hold on. No, wait a minute. I have another option. The other option is Tide Shaper, get Island Walk, and play Lord of Atlantis, and just hit for a ton, and then just threaten to win the game next turn. That is another option. Or, okay, hold on. What's my okay? I could I could Tide Shaper, hit for four, go to thirteen. Then if I play a Lord next turn, do I win after I strip mine the crap out of my opponent? What do they have here? We have one, one, two, three, four, five. Nine damage. So they're super far away from killing us. So I tie shaper the land. Play just attack for four. Go to thirteen. Then what's next turn? Lord is three, six, eight, thirteen. Yeah, it's 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 uh, perfect. Okay, it's what we're gonna do. It's what we're gonna do. And then we just hope they don't draw land. And if they do a draw land, we probably still win uh, anyway. Uh, you tap. Because didn't you want to put the Lord of Atlantis in play? No, next turn. Oh. Okay, so we attack for this much. And then next turn. Oh, actually, we're hitting for 14 next turn. Forgot that this uh, missed one point of damage from the Tide Shaper. And also, uh, Bobby might help Slam kill them. Him. It was an Aganjo. Shit. Well, if that's a Thalia Lieutenant, that might be... Ne the Thalia Lieutenant might be very, very dangerous. Um, sure. Well, I'm not happy about that. So wait, you can attack with everything? Okay, 
No blocks. That does put a monkey rent. Uh, actually, I probably should block with something, right? Okay, I go to seven. Ooh! Oh, I'm, yeah, but my man is too awkward. Okay, what do I want to do here? We can attack for three, play Phantasmal Image, copy the... Because we could block some stuff next turn. Okay, what's the most damage we could do here? I could attack for three, seven, eight, nine. It's not quite enough. You make this unblockable, or you attack with everything. I block this, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That sucks. So I have to leave some stuff to block. So I can attack for three with true name, play phantasmal image, copy true name, force our opponent to make this unblockable, and then we just jump block a bunch of stuff. Attack for three, you go to 10, and then next turn I have lethal, assuming nothing dies. Okay. So assuming no swords to plowshares, also, assuming no Thal's Lieutenant or other BS or something. And I can chump block with a Mist Caller this turn. Big. Ooh. It was a something. A Jirina, Dauntless General. It's about exile. Hexproof and indestructible oh, until yeah. end of turn for all the creatures. That is useless. <laughs> Who else calls again Joe Bojangles? I'm not, one, I'm not one of them. Thank you, David. Okay, so this is useless because uh, we kill next turn. Or do we? Hold on. Okay, so what if they go... What if they send in everything? Make unblockable attack with everything. Do I die? Oh, you got, like, a creature attacking. Oh, God. Okay, I'm dead. I was clearly wrong. Okay, that's unblockable. Uh, I don't have enough blocking creatures. Boo earns! Boo earns! That's exactly... That's exactsies. Wow. Damn. Amazing. How much is it to join this channel? What do you mean join this channel? Oh, you mean to join? It's like, I don't know, five bucks or something? Hundred dollars a year. No. Hundred dollars <laughs> a second. Uh, where was our Caracas? Maybe that Wasteland tech is even... No, I think... Uh, I don't need to be on this Wasteland. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe Wasteland is good. Do I want it more than Silver Gill Adept? Does Curving Out matter more than Silver Gill Adept? I have a bunch of lands. 21 lands is fine. Just submit the deck. I you, There is another way of playing that game. I could have just not attacked with that true name and maybe we would have killed them. But I'm not sure. This hand is a bit awkward, but it's fine, I guess. It's got Mother of Runes hate in it. It does have Mother of Runes hate. We'll deal with the Mother of Runes for the first time. In all these games. Oh, there's a Caracas. It was Mother's Day yesterday. Um, no, two days ago. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Okay, we're on curve for true name. Big. And they can't screw with my lands either. Oh, true name. Yeah, that's the dream. True name and phantasmal image. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I mean, I didn't think I was going to get overrun last game. But I did. Okay, we got a soldier. Who was a soldier? Sure. Oh, God. My dismember costs two, two mana. Well, I'm still going to play. Well, I don't get to attack this turn now, do I? No, I don't. So what am I going to... Okay, there is, a, there is a bit of an issue here. And that issue is... If I don't kill this champion of the parish now, I might have to tie a true name down to that stupid thing for the rest of the game. So it might be beneficial for me to kill it right now. And then just attack with Silver Gill Adept, and if they trade with an Esper Sentinel, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, sounds good. What else could happen here? 
you play Adeline, you attack with some random creatures. Oh, actually, no, do you know what? I probably can double kill that thing. Okay, I will wait a little bit. But if there's like Thou's Lieutenant or another Thou's Lieutenant, that will be an absolute beating. Well, I mean, still, a champion can get to like some absurd numbers. <laughs> Tiatna says, Call me crazy, but looks like Mikachu likes this deck. Alright. They have fear. I like when they show fear. Copy your opponent. <laughs> yeah, I would like yeah, I was reaching for my opponent. Copying the opponent is the best. So did they run out of gas? They have like their own Krakus to save their own creatures. <sighs> okay, so what happens here? Are we chipping away? They have no three drops. So they have a two drop that they didn't want to play? They have to be out of cards. Send in the clowns. I think they have to be out of cards. Big. They spewed they 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 spewed what they wanted to spew. That's a great card. So now I can target the champion. And um bounce everything. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just send in the team here. <laughs> Depending what they do, I'll dismember this or Ottawara. Poof! All right. Yeah, it's one of those games where they just like, oh, I got a lot of mana, and nothing to do with it. Okay, what's this gonna be? <laughs> Dark confidant. The thing about confidant is, I think it it could help me, it could hurt me. I attack you for six. So I have a two turn clock. Assuming, um. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna kill this thing. Two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay two. Bye. Yeah, bye bye. Like if the Dark Confident reveals like one two mana card, I hope that's enough. I hope I'm making the right decision here. Big. And I can always bounce something with Ottawara. Alright, they hit Janiri. Again. The humans you control gain hexproof and indestructible. Sac you do have to sack the creature though. More wastelands. Ah, they were, you know what? They might have kept a hand heavy on wasteland, thinking, oh, we're going to wasteland this fish player in, out of into the stratosphere. Well, they do have this card. They had to have just drawn it then. Okay. Goodbye, dismember. Yeah, goodbye. So long. Send in the team. Yeah. Uh, I will just block the Dark Confidant. Because I have a two-turn clock anyway. You could block the Dink, too. Oh, no, you can't. Well, I can, but I don't want to. The Dink is not going to kill me. Lord, 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 Lord. The Silver Girl is Lord. Any random creature would be appreciated. Keep the auto war up. It says Vigilance. You can just bounce. Well, I can't really bounce it because of this stupid card. I think I'm going to attack for s 8, just in case my opponent has some swords to plowshares plan. Now, there is a bit of a question, like, okay, so, creatures, whenever you attack for each opponent, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token, hold on, so no, this one, uh, humans you control gain, hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. I'm pretty sure if I bounce this thing, they're doomed. So, I have to do it now, because if they want to give hexproof, then, like, that's the window, and it's over. Because it would be hexproof and indestructible, and I sort of want to kill whatever attacks me, so... 
And they can't use the ability because of the summoning sickness? Well, they can use the ability, but it's not useful. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do make this play right now. Okay. Bounce it back to hand. Can you deal with a bunch of true names? Hopefully not. No. Okay, now they lose. Alright, 1 0 versus humans. Looked good though. Hey, no no hate against my humans brethren. But the way they built their deck probably gave us a little bit of an edge. Don't, but even even though that hexproof guy was not too bad. Don't let the Dutch prince lure you out into the ocean, you'll turn into foam. Alright. We have two true names, so yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Must it did some, turn out okay. Must be some sort of Swedish folklore. And by the way, if you join the channel, uh, make sure you connect your Discord. Joining the channel is pretty, Dope. well, useless. Unless you jo I mean, you could do it for the support. I love the support. But if you want to be part of the community, link your Discord to my Discord. I think I, do, I, think I have uh, my Discord link in the description. Or it should show you or something when you, when you join. We're up against Joe L. I don't know. I don't think that's Joe Lissette. I think he has a different name. Could be wrong. This Joe L, though, is pretty strong in Legacy. That's what the L stands for, Legacy. Yeah, Joe in Legacy. Man, I wish True Name was legal and modern. Yeah, me too. How does one deal with True Name? Ah, a million ways. Plague, Engineer, Engineered Plague, Edict Effects. Um, the fact that it's just slow, kill everything else, and then kill me in one shot. We'll keep this. It's a hand of cards. Play Mulligan. Good. Go to five. You know what? I, I want to put this out here. The more I think about it, the more I think competitive magic should be allowed a free mulligan. Now, in the past, people made the argument, well, that would make combo decks too good. But right now, like, the cards against combo decks are overwhelmingly powerful. And the, the fact a free mulligan would probably help the uh help other players find the combo cards better than the combo players comboing off i just because the thing is when i was in minneapolis like a lot of my games were just decided by mulligans to five so i think i think it's we're at a point ah oh, damn it i think we're at a point where uh we c we can easily have a free mulligan and the game would be pretty balanced Grizzle brand. Okay, the good news is that we got a lot of stuff for this matchup. Oh, and the bad news for them is they have no more menace. They were really banking on that land. Okay, there's a few ways we could go about this. I will. Turn it we have to, island. but we have no. Um, because if they just draw a swamp, that's all they need anyway. I'm gonna pass with a hex catcher up, and we'll probably just play a tide shape right end of turn. Oh, there's the land. Here they go. They're going to go for it now. Island. There's islands in this deck. Amazing. It's blue-black, which is not good. Okay. Um, does this resolve? If they have Force of Will, then I'm screwed. Okay. Let's sack the Tide Shaper to this. Cause that's why I didn't want to turn into a land. Uh, they could... Well, they top-decked an island in this case. But if they top-deck a Black Source... I thought they were mono-black. Uh, they top deck a black source. Actually, they fetch that island out. Interesting decision. He knows. Okay, now if I now maybe I do want a tide shaper now. Another hex catcher is great. But let's just put a bunch of dummies on the board, shall we? In the next turn we'll put the lords in play. Uh, I'm assuming they have days in their deck. Hence why they've got, like, the islands. Well, now I'm starting to think I should just start emptying. We should... Uh, how, no, I, I want to have more dummies on the battlefield. Okay, so I'm going to activate this again. See what we can get here. Camera Souls is not bad. I played a land, yes, I believe, this did. turn. And then... Attack for one. Mm -hmm. So these can be fodder for the... Anibate Dead Gods. If we can get our opponent down to seven, then Grizzlebrand is turned off. Oh, they're just going to try to exhaust our crap. Yep. One at a time. 
<laughs> Sorry, pal. Yeah. That card should get a flashback, though, for one black. No way! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, let's see if there's, like, a counter spell here. I guess there's like, not a lot of incentive to play a counter spell. Okay, Merfolk. This is gonna be whack. Look at okay. all these lords. Yeah, I gotta get them lords. Another one. Yeah, so it's nine, da ten damage. Well, now it's Poof. just do. Well, okay, so like it's probably effectively over. There's no way they're gonna eat beat all these creatures. <laughs> Shallow grave. They just want to show uh, show me their cards, do they? Instant speed. Did you target my graveyard? Return the top creature of the target player's graveyard. <laughs> they were going for my silver Gilladap. <laughs> yeah, take my silver Gilladap. Mine. Okay, so things don't get better here. So we're going to get the Surgical Extractions. We'll get the Caracas. And that's about it. I'll side out True Name Nemesis because this is just the most expensive, useless card. Miscaller is a beating in this matchup. Uh, this is just early game pressure that combines with Hexcatcher. And Phantasmal Image can copy any a lot of the stuff that they go get. So there's a lot of games where they go get something like Atraxa. And then we just copy the Atraxa and then attack and... Whatever. No chalice. No cha chalice is a trap. Again, chalice is a. Did you see how they tried to win? Shallow grave. And uh, what is the other one? They Entomb. did. No, no. Entomb is a. See, the problem is Entomb happens on turn one, before you even get chalice out. So you, you forget reanimate about that. Dead, Same thing with uh, reanimate. And there was yeah, animate dead, shallow grave, exhum. Those are the cards that kill you. So Chalice is not useful in any world unless you had other cards to deal with the answer. But then at that point, what do you need Chalice for? And on top of that, uh, you can't get around in Tomb very well, which is one of the more important cards. So yeah, Chalice, Trap, that uh, Trap. And I never even liked that card in the Reanimate matchup because I, I knew it was a trap for years. I, I knew since the beginning, it was like, you guys are bringing Chalice in this matchup? Like that's terrible. It's completely, complete crap. I uh, I oh no this hand's great it's got miss collar keep they mullied if they like look at our hand they'll just throw up <laughs> I bet I need another land in order to get this this hand really going the sack catcher but we do ha we do have things to play I go turn one miss collar turn two tide shaper turn three tide shaper even if we don't draw lands and like it is a bit of a game especially if they put an island in play. All right, Flooded Strand. Oh, boy. Now, this is a bit... Well, they didn't do anything, so I'll, I'll play the Vile. Because I can still Surgical. You can pay with life. Or maybe it's still correct to play the Mist Caller. Because what if they have, like, days or something? Maybe I'm still dead. Okay, it looks like Brainstorm. That's a Burton Cheney Brainstorm. You draw 10 cards. Yeah, I would give one caveat if you're running an Ancient Tomb City of Traders deck. Oh, yeah, if you're running Ancient... It's like, if you can pl play Chalice on one turn one, that's a completely different story. Completely different story. Like, I, I we would have played Chalice on one right then and there. And so that would have been effective. They drew three cards. They really drew one card. Because they still got to... They looked at three cards. I guess they needed an island. Swamp. Okay, put that grizzle brand in there. You put that grizzle brand in there. Don't a grizzle him. brand. Don't bury him too deep. Maybe only a foot. This will stay up as a VOD? Um, no! Okay, do I have any other instants and sorceries? Discard a card. What do they discard? A polluted delta? Do they choose that resolution or something? I don't get it. Okay, Mo, target opponent reveals their hand, you choose an instant or sorcery card. Okay, so I have to use the surgical extraction or never. Okay, well, I guess we go get brainstorm. What are you doing? I at least get to see what's going on in their hand. That's kind of cool. 
Yeah, check the chat log. Thank you very much. Maybe he's got a lot of brainstorms. Maybe. Let's see how many brainstorms we have. Show and tell. Okay, enemy dead and tomb and grizzle brand. Enemy dead and tomb. So we'll take your brainstorms. And how did you sideboard for me, by the way? You have Boseju, Emrakul, Omniscience. Also, this is just an Omnitel reanimator deck. What a weirdo deck. Entomb, Anime Dead, Grizzle Brand. Okay. How much removal do you have, by the way? Feed the Swarm. Sorcery Speed. Um, collective Brutality, of course. Looks like the only one. You have Thought Seize, Reanimate. Feed the Swarm looks like it's it. Omniscience is dangerous, though, because they can just show until Omniscience in play, and I don't have the tools for that. Get better soon, Monster CC. Okay, hold on. They don't have any more lands, though, so that is some good news. Yeah, choose a way. Not. <laughs> okay. So I'll probably just put Tide Shaper and Flash and Miscall at end of turn. The hand's actually still not... The, actually, the hand is really strong. Because then I take it up, and then Hex Catcher will do a lot of work. Okay, things are a little different now. Um, or are they? Maybe they aren't. Maybe I still play Tide Shaper as a beatdown creature and then Hex Catch. There's no, like, what is the worst? Nothing can happen to me next turn. Nothing. They don't even have a creature in the graveyard. That is so weird what they did. Oh, I see. They collect it. That's so strange. So it's like they knew I had Surgical. Because if they go collective, the only thing they're playing around is Surgical. Or did they misclick? Did they misclick? That be that makes so much more sense. Oh no, no, they were on the show and tell plan. They decided to go show and tell. Anyway, it's it's a bit bizarre. Um, so I have two choices. I could just go hex catcher right now. Into miscaller. Oh, I can go tide shaper too. Yeah, this is a great idea. Shut up all that black mana. Like, if they draw a land for show and tell, then I just crack Mist Caller. How much would Fairy Macabre hurt us in the sideboard? It would make it a lot crappier versus the Uro decks. And maybe even the Painter decks. Good luck with your job interview. Yeah, good luck for the job. Turtle Man. I love how, you know, my favorite thing is when people get hit by Tide Shaper and they're like, does this tap for black mana? No? Oh, okay. They gotta test it every time. They gotta test it, that's right. They have to test. Just for good, for, just for good measure. Merfolk is very strong against the top legacy deck. Uh, okay, so I can just spew my hand, right? And they knew all this was coming. And this will just be fodder. Do I have lethal next turn? Well, let's do it. This guy did. This guy crushed like the what's it called? Um, well, here it comes. Got to at least try, right? <laughs> okay, what do I want? I guess we are going to. It's possible they have omniscience. So I'm just thinking, what do I have? Seven, 11, yeah, I got everything. I like how they, they forced me to do it. Maybe I'll accidentally let it resolve. Maybe. This is why they do so well in those legacy challenges and so on. Oof. Yeah, well, I didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Fog. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> like that guy, like that guy in Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah, in Minneapolis, someone played uh, Mono Green Tron versus me, and then started throwing fogs, and then I tide shapered the green source, and then they showed me all the fogs in their hand. All right, we're two zero so far. That's a good match. I assume Reanimator is just like, especially with the extra miss call, is just a slam dunker. Uh, yeah, I think you get access to Force Will and Brainstorm. I don't know. Did we even see a Force Will or Brainstorm? 
I think they they were just playing blue for show and tell. You won the die roll. Would I like to go first? I love going first, but I also like having lands. Look at that. We have four of a kind uh, Lord of Atlantis. Well, I said I like having lands, but that's too many lands. So this is what I'm talking about. This game could be completely decided by these stupid mulligans. Like, this is a pretty crappy hand, too. Where we need free mulligans. Free mulligans. We have the London mulligan, then we'll have the stupid mulligan. I guess I'm gonna keep. And hope my opponent's deck interacts with uh, what I'm doing here. Which is nothing, technically. I don't even. Uh, this keep at five might even be wrong. It's just that going to four is close to a death sentence in this game. It's just a death sentence. What is this control? Oh, yeah, we're dead. We stone dead. We stoned. Also, I think control is a bad matchup. That actually was good for us. Didn't hit our miss caller, which is a bad card in this matchup. Uh, yes, I'll start off with a lord. Just to be mana efficient. Uh, we're t uh, we're two zero so far. About to be two one. I'm already down. Like, oh wait a minute. Maybe this isn't control. Maybe this isn't blue. I thought it was blue eye control. Sure. It's, a, it's an Uro deck. It's four color Uro. You have the tools. Add one man of any color to your mana pool. Any color at all. Birds of Paradise! Now, Miss Color actually looks like it's gonna be good. Okay. God damn it! I'm already kicked down. I'm already, like, down on my luck here. Hopefully, games two and three will be a lot better. to hide the wasteland because I have nothing to wasteland at the moment. Please force a will this thing. This is probably going to be a good card in the matchup because this these decks usually play with green sun zenith. And now that they just read and are like, ah crap. Remember when when you crack your miscaller, make sure you vile whatever you need to vile in play. Because if you crack miscall then vile something in play, poof goes poof it goes. What if your free mulligan was to put the original seven on the bottom and draw seven more, no shuffle in between? Um, that might benefit some decks. Yeah, the cheaters. But I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. This is great! My opponent used a prismatic ending and just threw a Teferi Time Reveler on our Aether Vial, which is doing nothing. <laughs> He's new to the game. They're trying very hard to also get to a mulligan to five, just like me. They probably lost so badly to an Aether Vial once. Aether Vial is great when your hand is full, not when your hand is empty. No! It's a miracle. Well, it's going to two for... Okay, so... Um, here, we'll sack this. Just in case they put something from... I don't know, the graveyard on the battlefield. Oops, I'm an idiot. Because I'm supposed to wait for the miracle thing to happen first. Okay, so they... Anyway, they paid for it anyway. I But I have to wait for it to be on the stack. Because they just eat, ate up their bird, too. Anyway, they play an Uro, we're dead. Uro? It's Uro. Uro. Yeah, but maybe you'll now get... Oh, no, it's in the sideboard. Anyway, they're in very good shape. But anyway, that's the point of having the surgicals in the main. Oh, they are in the main. Oops. On. Oops. No, no, no. I don't, don't click through my turn. No, the uh, sideboard. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What do you need black for? I don't know. You're going to get blue from this. But you need double blue. You need double green. This is double anything. Blue... If I hit this green thing, you have double blue. Okay, so this is a more sensitive one. You need a blue source. Also, I'm feeding the fucking Uro, but whatever. The Ice Fang. Happens when you're in a while. Yeah. Oh, since Arkham's Astrolabe. 
season. Land goal. Anyway, I'm just waiting for my demise. So I, I, can, I, can, I think I've seen enough. Like, what can get me out of this? True name into true name, maybe. But my opponent draws four cards. All right, let's see if we can draw true names really fast. Like, my experience is if you have, like, a bit of something on the board and then you can force of will the Uro when it comes back from the graveyard, you can win those games. But I have nothing. I have literally nothing. And my opponent's life total is really high. Oh, yes, that is just lovely. Okay, we're not gonna wait for this. Okay, so that like that game was decided by a mulligan to five. Like it, it, there was it was a complete non-game. All right, Caracas, surgical extraction. Love to see how this works out. Um, I could actually take out Wasteland because this is not a very good Wasteland matchup. I guess I'll keep the rest. Do we need anything else? No, 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 no. Sometimes you want to bring in Hydro Blast and Blue Elemental Blast, but I didn't really see any red in that deck. Because sometimes they splash red for uh, Minskin Boo, basically. Boo is Emrakul's origin story. All right, let's just submit this. I hope it's good enough. I take out Wasteland because I don't really like fighting over mana in in these matchups because they have a lot of mana. It's just impossible. They can Green Sun for Dryad Arbor. Uh, they have Birds of Paradise, probably Noble Hierarch. Like trying to win on the mana. Trying to win a mana battle, it ain't gonna work out for you. It'll work out very poorly. Oh, they no. had black. Maybe I should have Dismember for Plague Engineer. But the problem with Dismember is it really sucks versus like most stuff in their deck. Ah, forget it. I'm going to... I'll keep the missed colors. But I think they're going to have Plague Engineer. You won the die roll. Hooray. This is... This is an okay hand. I might force a will a um, pitching right. missed caller. A prismatic ending. Okay, they mulligan a six this time. If Merfolk would ever get a Planeswalker, what abilities, reasonable ones, would you like to have? I have no idea. Go to one, win the game. Creatures you control have Hexproof. That's a static ability. Because um, control can't use that very well. Look at that. They're going to do it again. They always have it. How is it that they always have Prismatic Ending on turn one? So I don't need to fight over this, but if I don't, yeah, I'm just not going to. I have things to do on turn one and two. I just hope to draw land over the next few turns. Uh, okay, we'll cast the Tide Shaper. I don't think it's unreasonable to have a Planeswalker that says creatures you control have Hexproof. I really need to save Force Will for like an actual big threat, not my Ether Vial, especially since I ha I can play the cards in my hand. Oh, we have another Ether Vial. They chose not to shuffle. All right, put that. Beefy arrow in the graveyard. Whatever. What like I don't I don't know how to put it. It's like I always they only have four of those they only have four prismatic endings in their deck. But they always connect with my ether vials. Yeah, when I have four tide shapers and four wastelands, I can't hit an Urza saga for my life. Um, I guess we'll play Cavern of Souls, Merfolk, and then attack for two, and hold the Mist Callers in our hands, or maybe not. Maybe I can play the Mist Callers. 
I'm a little concerned about Minsk and Boo, and I would have to probably pitch something away. But then again, this might also play around Natural Order. I don't know if they have Natural Order in their deck. Also, this commits a lot of stuff to my board to, like, per potentially a um, Terminus, which is sort of really annoying. As someone who plays this filthy Uro piles, I can say we always have it. It's always there. This is really weird. Playing this in a deck without... Oh, no, it had Snow Basics, but I guess they're just deciding not to care. Yeah, we saw Snow Basics Snow basics in game one. Are they choked on mana or something? Not anymore. Okay, there's one Snow Basic. Okay, that's sort of nice. Um, maybe I attack with this if they double block. Call it a day. I'll play uh, True Name afterwards. Or you could blow them out with Hexcatcher. I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Path. Okay, so they have a really heavy removal, heavy hand, which is fine with me. Okay, we're going to play the true name. Get some good pressure on our opponent. They're not choked on mana because you're not playing green. I don't even, huh? I don't know what that means. Natural order, natural order. Oh, did they read my card? It felt like they were like, I got natural order. Oh, is it Teferi? Teferi's sort of fine. Because it doesn't do a whole lot. I guess they could bounce their Ice Fang if they want to. What do you want to do? Just having fun. Hmm. Okay, Uro's fine. You're not going to send it into exile? I can't. And it would never work. It, it, the creature has to be cheated in play and wasn't cast. No, when I mean you, with your force. When you, huh? It doesn't put it in exile. Oh, it just stupid. counters it. But I do, I will counter it on the way back. So when they try to play it next turn, I will counter it. Or attempt to, at least. Unless you get the Surgy. And I hope, I sort of hope I draw, like, um... Sure. I hope I draw a random blue card. I really want this hex catcher on the battlefield. Or actually, it'd be nice to draw a lord. Surgical extraction. Surgical's not bad. That would put me way ahead. Because that, like, the whole game is ba These Uro decks, it's like Uro or nothing. That was the worst thing I could possibly draw. Because now I have to sacrifice. Do I? Yeah, I have to get rid of this thing. It's sad, but true. So lame. Or or no, I gotta I gotta pitch it. I really don't want to exchange it with this quaddle though. So I'll just attack for three. I'll wait for a lord so I can. And these miscallies might just be good in general with them having natural order and green sun zenith in their deck. Some of mana traders raised their subscription price by 25% compared to what they were last year for the gold tier. Yeah, they might have raised their prices. I think you get more value, though. Because the thing is, like, the ticks were... Before, people, they didn't have high enough tiers for the ticks of ticks for what people wanted. So I think they had to raise everything up. Praying our opponent just does anything except put an Uro in play. Okay, they have blue, green, green, blue, blue. Oh, and this guy. Imagine a Silver Gill Adept with, but with Flash. I don't know if I'd want that. Like, I, I'm sort of in the spot where I want more interaction, not card draw. Like, I don't know how many card draw cards, or maybe if they drew a card and did something interactive at the same time, I might be okay with that, but I'm really not in a spot, like, Merfolk's not in a spot where we need more cards. Like, we need more interaction. We need more meaningful interaction. Like, this is meaningful interaction for the decks that we wanted against. This is also meaningful interaction. 
But drawing cards? If you want to draw cards, go play, um... What's a good card drawing machine? Go play 8-cast. Draw all the cards you want. Oh, yeah. A little priced out potion. Yeah, Deep Root Wayfinder is not interactive. That's a problem. I don't like Deep Root Wayfinder. I think it's a waste of time. So lame. If I could get this Hexcratcher in play, we'd have smacked our opponent for 4-8 uh, damage. Anyway, now we have to waste on this stupid dumbass. Wasteland, which I may or may not want to play. Well, I mean, I, uh, actually, I could use it to kill the Dryad Arbor, but I have to be careful what I want to Wasteland because... That feeds the Uro. Yes, so don't, don't use it at all. You might not draw anything that can do anything. Okay, potion, yeah. Just can't. You feel priced out. Uh... Yeah, but the, but the main problem is, like, everything online costs more. So if they want to outlay more value in cards, they have to raise their prices. Like, they can't just keep giving you mo more cards worth for, like, the same price that it was before. Okay, I'll pass the turn. Wouldn't say I'm flooding, but like, maybe I'm flooding. There's two ether vials in the graveyard. I'm just lucky our opponent answered them with prismatic endings. Hello? With the release of March of the Machines Aftermath, is it finally time to unban Mox Opal? No, never. You'll never be fine to unban Mox Opal. Just putting it out there right now. Oh God, what does that mean? You're gonna terminus? You're gonna verdict? Oh. Yeah, I don't care about that. Although I probably will kill it. Oh, they're gonna bounce their quaddle. That's cute. Oh, that's a very cute move you got over there. So to replay it, you have to play blue, green. Yeah, that'll work. Or blue, green. I have a feeling they've got like swords to plowshares. Oh, that's funny. Um, okay, so we'll kill Teferi. It's a good thing I didn't use that Wasteland. Turns out I needed that mana. <laughs> I'm attacking Alt Nicolo, the Planeswalker. <laughs> you always wanted to be a Planeswalker? Well, now you are. And it says in the chat, Alt Nicolo is being attacked <laughs> by True Name Nemesis and lose Alt lose removes a loyalty counter from Alt Nicolo. Daybreak games. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold our Force Negation. This Nicodle isn't worth much. This deck actually surprisingly dirtles a lot. There's just a few high impact cards that you have to deal with. Um, this version looks like it's not playing red, so I guess you don't have to be worried about uh, what's its face. Uh, Minskin Boo, but there's things like Minskin Boo, Uro, like there's just a few super important cards you have to deal with. And then everything else doesn't really matter. It's gonna be another Teferi. Oh, Jace. Yeah, that, that matters. Brainstorm. It's even stronger than Teferi. Can I get a Lord? Damn it. But it, it feels like our opponent has swords to plowshares, just the way they have five cards in hand. They're not playing lands. They've got this Birds of Paradise over here. I also do want to attack as if they block, then... Well, anyway, Uro. Uro will do something. Abundant growth, sure. Again, they're not tapping that Birds. That Birds has the swords to plowshares! Surgical, surgical, surgical. Also That's good. actually great. Okay, so I'll attack for three. So now that might help us, like, race. 
the stupid Uro if it does get reanimated. <laughs> Green Needle, Brainstorm. I would love it if Wizards of the Coast made a one mana green card called Green Needle. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you can always get another coffee, Henrik. You can get another coffee. Nothing wrong with that. Look, I tapped this thing for mana. It's uncounterable. Don't even try to pyroblast it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're going to do something. Are you going to swords my miss caller? Sure. Like they, yeah, they're like, they're getting bored of their swords to plowshares. This isn't doing anything! And they need to get cards in the graveyard. Thank you for giving me one life. By the way, very important to know, I can never copy Uro because it will always check to see if it escaped. I mean, I, I have copied Uro just because I'm like, okay, I need to draw some cards here. <laughs> we need to dig to an answer, but effectively, if you copy Uro with a Phantasmal image, you're just, um, what's it called? Uh, oh god, Ponder. Riddle me this. Because they could stack a Terminus on top. Now would be a good time for a Lord. Chooses to shuffle. Okay, that's good. They have a random card. Oh, damn. They can go for Uro now. Uro, gain three life. Wonder, do they think Mistcaller stops it? Maybe. Let's see if they pass the turn. It doesn't stop it. Because if it, it is cast. Uro escape is like, you may cast this card from your graveyard for its escape cost. Be scared! Ooh. Why did I leave this in against you? Ooh. It's a boogeyman. Maybe they'll play natural order to make me sack my miss caller. Yeah, they're they're looking up online right now. Does Uro <laughs> beat a miss caller? And maybe they won't find it because it's such a niche interaction. Because who the hell is playing miss caller versus an Uro deck? Like we did, the Murpho community just started playing with miss caller a lot. Wizard Fang says, when I get my salary, I'm going to donate. Why? Because I like you. I like how you are a fish. Yeah, I am a fish. And I like fish, but mostly uh, crust. What the hell? Crustaceans. Crustacean. Like Crabs, shrimp. Crabs, lobsters. Sorry, I'm getting too tipsy. Not sorry. <laughs> some, pe some people are, uh, are drinking a lot of coffee in chat. Some people are drinking a lot of al alcohol. Spirit Squad says, loving the missed callers. I'm also loving the missed callers. So Spirit Squad, what is the best version of Spirits in Pioneer now? Is it like Mono Blue, Spirits, or Bant? And by the way, Mono Blue can never be the answer. And and like between like what's the deal with the curious the non-curious obsession build with spirits? I can sorta of see it, but I can also sorta of not. Like the best games are ones with curious obsession. And like if my opponent has a huge pile of removal, I'm gonna lose anyway. It's not like we have Drog Skull Captain in Pioneer. Man, they're looking hard on the internet about this miscaller interaction. They can't find it. They just can't find it. They're calling up a judge friend that they know right now. It's like, does, does this exile my hero? Cause it would be a huge blowout, right? <laughs> like it would be devastating. It would be so bad. If it worked like that, they're tapping five mana. Was that five mana? Or was that four? No, it's four mana. That was a ponder. That was ponder mana. Damn. Ah, they're going for the Uro. They're going to get the good news. All right. Yeah, I can't do squat about this. Never could. Okay, so getting a Lord doesn't matter much now. Although I could... What do I do now? Hold up my true names? Because I'm not racing very well. I don't think I am. Oh, here comes Ice Fang. So confident now, aren't you, Ice Fang? Where were you last turn? 
Or I guess I didn't want you last turn. I wanted the second true name. Okay, attack for six. You attack, you gain three. So basically I'm like two turns away from killing you, but like maybe I'm gonna die some other way. Attack for six, you go to five, go to eight. I attack for six, you go to two. You go up to five. But like any Uro screws with this plan. Well, I do have a force of will. All right, charge! Or do I not charge? I could I could also opt to do nothing. But if I do nothing... Just charge. Yeah. Doing nothing doesn't sound like a good idea either. So they attack for seven. Yeah, I, I win this race. Sort of. Oh, they could also sort to plowshares their Uro, but like that's not going to be good. That can't be good interaction. You better not terminus this board away, I swear. Okay, um, Azorius is actually absurd right now. Bent is okay at best, and Mono Blue is still pretty decent, but Blue White is the way. No. I oh, like yeah. the attack. This at least opens us up to a Lord draw. It also opens us up to. Oh, yeah, maybe a Lord. Yeah, drawing a Lord, actually. I didn't even think about that. Look at our graveyard. It's just a bunch of force of wills. I don't even think this card is even that good in this matchup. It's just sort of like. Tap how big. Bigger. It's just, it's just a thing, you know? What is this? Oh, finally. Uh, hold on. You search your library for a green creature card. All right, your time has come, Mist Caller. Your time has come. <laughs> it's exactly what you were designed to do. You get nothing. You lose. Yeah. Good day, sir. Let's see if they put something in into exile, just out of curiosity. Is this revealed or is this exile? Yeah, they did. They put the <laughs> oof. They're it's like, oh, maybe they're, oof. maybe they're, <laughs> maybe they're filtering their deck. Out of bad cards. Another Quaddle. Damn, I wish I could tap this thing down or something. Uh, sure. Yeah, good day, sir. You good day. I guess I'll try a natural order for something next turn. All right. Get hit for seven. Go up to eight. Everything is going according to my plans. Damn it, they have a land. Again, they still, hurt them. they still have that Swords to Plowshares available. They want to crack that thing, it's going to cost. It is. Yeah, don't go too low. How low will you go? Oh, God! Oh, no! <laughs> what have I done? Uh, well, that's not good news. Oh, God damn it. Uh, well, I don't know if I even want to force a will that thing anyway. Oh, they're going to have an absurd amount of mana next turn. Yeah, both and that Miss Caller sucks. They could probably play two natural orders next turn. So I can attack for almost lethal. Yeah, this would have been a great time to get. If I picked up a Lord here, it would have been GG. We had so many Lords in our deck. Okay, so now they're gonna get. Oh, so they have, they a, have lot a lot of mana, but doesn't mean you have anything to spend it on. They have to. Okay, we can let one Uro resolve too. No, we can't, because Uro's gonna attack. It's four color. We've I have not seen a single red thing out of this deck, once. Ponder, ponder away. So what, they don't have Swords to Flower shares in their hand? Why would they risk that? That was such a big risk. Okay, I'm glad I waited on this. Uh, you don't have days, right? So that'd be really bad for me. Ha ha! Huzzah! Are we gonna go see game three? Okay, let's see what happens here. Still not of it yet. I mean, they could still natural order for maybe another. Uh, they could natural order. Natural order finds anything, right? Oh, it has. Oh, it's a green card. Okay, so they can't natural order for. Keep forgetting, a lot of these tutors have to find a green card, so they can't go get plague engineer. So Uro. Okay, that's. 
That's what I would have preferred to use my counter spell on, but whatever. Okay, so there's another turn. Ro should still be banned in modern. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> They're not unbanning that card. That was too pushed. Oh, lord, wait. lord, 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 lord. Lord probably doesn't even do it. That is such an interesting card at this juncture. That is so, so interesting. All right, okay, that was not the card I was hoping for, but it's a card we are going to take to the bank. I gotta be a little concerned of my opponent just playing Terminus. Uh, I translated the plot of Willy Wonka to the dirtiest... You. <laughs> Not reading that. Uh, okay, so next. Do I play around? Okay, so I bounce this stupid dummy. Ugh, they have so much mana every turn. Okay. Terminus be damned. I'm putting a miscolor on the battlefield. Yeah, do you, want, do you want me to get uh, demonetized with her fang? You want me to get demonetized? All right, Krakus. Earn your keep around here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's like no way I can... I mean, like Carpet of Flowers can easily hard cast Terminus too. They choose not to use Carpet of Flowers here, probably because they just want to bring back Earl from the graveyard. Okay. Now let's see if they play Terminus here. They could play Terminus and probably play Uro. Oh, they have a second Uro in the graveyard. That's nasty. They could play two Uros this turn. But I am at a low life total. Like, these Ice Fangs might kill me. Don't add white. Don't add white. Add blue or green. Okay, blue is good. Alright, Uro's back. Gain a boatload of life. Brainstorm. I would imagine they want to play their other Uro just for the sake of gaining some life here. Yeah. Oh, no! Okay, we dead. Damn. Took too long for that to happen, but whatever. Moving on. Uh, both, both, ma both games sucked. Both were crap. Uh, the second one was a little bit better, but like uh, I sort of drew my threats in an awkward order. Ah, the second game was fine. First game was just terrible. I basically mulliganed to oblivion and had no chance. Has Control gotten the triumph of Saint Cat? I have no idea what that's in reference to. Okay, we won the die roll for round four. Uh, we have no mana, so we're going to mulligan. I have some mana, so I'm going to keep... You know what I really hate is like I always dump Force of Will here, but then I'm like, oh god, I wish I had Force of Will. Because there's just so many Force of Will decks in the format. Like there's so many. I'm like, I, I'm Force of Will checked so much, and then I'm like, when I don't have it, I just don't have it. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play it. All right, so I'm not gonna keep it because I really don't want to keep it on the play when I've mulliganed. What's the difference between MTG Online and Arena? Serious question. Isn't Arena more pretty? Uh, you don't get access to mo uh, Pioneer, actual Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, Vintage. There's a lot. There's a lot of different formats. You don't get the whole card pool of Magic: The Gathering on Arena. You only get like a very restricted card pool on Arena, whereas you get the whole card pool on Magic: The Gathering Online. Minus the uh, what's it called? Um, Minus some other stuff. 
We're up against a snow-covered island deck, so I'll probably just throw this Tide Shaper out there. Yeah, I don't know what this deck is, but I'm going to throw the Tide Shaper out there. I don't think I'm going to get punished for this. I just want some power. And then we'll just throw a Mist Caller out and throw another Mist Caller out. In theory, you can play Commander on Magic the Gathering Online, but it looks like garbage. Uh huh. Okay. So we're up against Death Shadow, I think. And their hand is really clunky. So is mine. And actually, it's pretty useless here, too. I really like this Lord, um, but I gotta be careful here. I somehow have to position this Lord in play and then flash in Phantasmal Image so I can get them both to exist at once. Because if I play a Lord here and attack, then they snuff out the Lord of Atlantis and block my Tide Shaper and I don't have much action left on the battlefield. So this is where it would be so much better to have a, uh, what's it called? Um, It'd be nice to have Hex Catcher right now, but also Curse Catcher. Curse Catcher would protect me from all of that. I could play Lord of Atlantis, attack with a Curse Catcher and Tide Shaper, and there'd be no risk. Maybe this isn't Shadow. I mean, they do have Underground Sea and Shadow, but maybe this just isn't it. Maybe this is... Wait, this is not... This is nothing what I thought it was. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay. So we can actually we can deal with the third chapter with Mist Collar. I have no idea what we're up against, but I'm gonna go all in. I'm gonna assume there's no snuff out now. I mean, there might be a snuff out, but I'm not gonna play around it. Ooh, Silver Gill Adept is nice. Okay, let's. In that case, let's attack for five. A little patiently here. Uh, I can play Silver Gill Adept. Maybe on... Is this like... Like, what is this? Just Grixis cards? What am I again? Uh, maybe it's some Reanimator deck. Like a Patient Reanimator deck. Which Miss Caller is just a beating against. Shadow Prophecy. Look at the top X cards of your library. X is the number of basic land types among lands you control. It's some sort of Grixis control deck, it looks like. Okay, I will not block this thing. Is it creativity? Oh, they're like, wait, hold the fort. What does this guy do? Hold the fort. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's uh, legacy creativity. Oh yeah, there's no creativity because of the Balefield Strix. What the hell is this? I don't know, they can creativity into a Baleful Strix. I mean, if you creativity into enough stuff, like you target three things, maybe there's only one Baleful Strix. Wouldn't that be value anyway? Creativity, blow up your treasure, your goblin, and your Baleful Strix, and get yourself uh, a brand new Baleful Strix world? No! Um... Do I want to re-roll? Okay, so what happens if I play Phantasmal Image? Copy Lord. Can I just win the game? Yeah. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, so they're gonna go 13. I can I do have a boatload of power if I Phantasm Image copy Lord of Atlantis, but it like what are the odds that they have no removal? Like nothing. That is so unlikely. But then again, I need the Island Walk Lord to get through the Baleful Strix anyway. And then I guess... Is this lethal by itself? Probably not. Give him nothing. Okay. Give them no choice. An attack for 10 relatively clean damage. What is this? Ponder. If they shuffle, I might attack with everything. Choose to shuffle their library. It might imply that they cannot beat what's on the board. Big Lord time. I think I take everything up. Took one up to three, one up to two. Ha. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't beat what's on the board. What was the next card? Oh, it was a Lord. They're dead. They're just stone dead anyway. They couldn't beat the board. Control, eh? Red cards, eh? I would imagine they have Plague Engineer, so I have to bring in at least two dismembers for that. I do not know how they win this game. So, control matchup. Mistcaller is probably, no, Mistcaller is not terrible, but it's sort of still poop. There's some logic to keep Force of Will for some super high impact card. But maybe maybe I don't need it. It's like only how about okay, we just have dismember for literally maybe the token from like we'll have dismember we'll bring in dismembers for plague engineer if necessary. I d I don't know enough about this matchup. Is this some weird show and tell list? Maybe. Oh, attracts and Grizzlebrand are in this? I can see them wanting Belvastrix as a payoff. Ah, I get it. Okay, keep. Uh oh, so this is like show and tell? What's your favorite Murfolk of all time? It's Queen of Oh, then I screwed up. So yeah, I I uh I sideboarded as if this was a control matchup. And apparently it's combo, according to you guys. Which would make sense, actually, with all the ponders and brainstorms and then the concession. Because they were they were more heavy on combo than removal. So I do have Miss Caller for that problem. That is a problem. No, oh, but it acts like a control deck. They're acting like a control deck. I'm gonna do nothing, because if they play Fable the Mirror Breaker, I mean, this is basically what this card is for. Yeah. Sure. Oh, they're screwed on mana, huh? Okay, we'll put out Tide Shaper. It's just a bigger beater. And I'll tick up the vial. So why not? And I draw more of this junk. Okay, so they drew, uh, they drew a card. They pawned. Did they shuffle? Chooses to shuffle their library. Okay, so they have a random card on top. Okay, I'll just attack for two. Just be patient. Attack for two. Play mist caller. Hold up. All this other stuff. Because now, if they, if they, uh, I can violin hex catcher to deal with uh, what's it called? Baleful strix. Yeah, you got Belfast Strix. Draws a card. Was it a land though? Bird Tribal. Yeah, I'll put in Hexcatcher. That lets me pretty comfortably put a uh, Master of the Pearl Trident in play next turn. Because they can't snuff out anything right now. Put another Baleful Strix in the graveyard. No, it's not good for them. We'll leave this at two. 
I'll put out Tide Shaper as like a Hex Catcher fodder, because I don't want to sacrifice anything that's already in play. Put our Lord in play. Takaroonies. Am I buying the Merfolk Secret Lair, says West Coast Games? No. Although I, I sort of like that Master of Waves card. That's pretty cool. I think the Cephalid one was also very nice. Three, two, one. I guess the only way I could be in some trouble... No, I have no idea. This game's over. We well, chose not to shuffle. That's fine. They can do whatever they want. They're dead. <laughs> you did it all with one island and an and Aether Vile. Yeah, I know. I can sack two creatures and still win. <clears throat> Aha! You don't like you, this one. Do you even have delirium? Sorcery, creature, it says instant right at the top land. Right. Huh? What? It says right at the top. Oh, five card types. Okay, just in case you reanimate anything. Just in case. You can reanimate this thing at instant speed. Oh, shoot. That is not a card I was playing around. It says XD in the chat. <laughs> well, that is very unfortunate. All right, this game is not over. Not by a long shot. So now if they follow this up with a Plague Engineer, I could be in trouble. Here comes Fury. Is it not excellent? Uh, nope. Uh, you cast it. Oh, they thought they were playing Fury just for fun. And, like, uh, they were gonna lose anyway. Well, that's how this works. Shit. Okay. That's a problem. Okay, now I just lost all my lords. I probably have to go to three on this Aether Vial. Hmm, huh, now what do we do? Backspace, backspace, wasteland. Okay, so I can wasteland the underground seed, make it even less likely that, um... Plego. Actually, okay, let's see what happens here. You gonna play Fatal Push or something? No, so I can attack for... Yeah, let's just attack with these guys. Yeah, I'm trying to reduce the chances of play go by as much as I can. How do I lose? How do I lose? How do I lose? How do I lose? Keep the renewal on to blast up. Or not. If they play Oath of the Mirror Breaker, I can Blue Elemental Blast the stupid goblin. I was thinking more for Fury. Uh, I don't care about Fury. I mean, if they're going to two for one themselves again, whatever, I'm going to kill them with this true name. Probably. Yeah, they were playing it for fun. They thought that the Fury would... They thought the point of ha Miss Caller was to deal with stuff like Fury, but... Nope. <laughs> There's another Fury. Yeah, okay. There goes my tie shapers. If I lose this game... Because the only way I lose now is to a top deck Plague Engineer. Or Plague Engineer and... Um, what's it called? Yeah, I need a, they need a black source and a plague engineer. It's the only way I lose this. Okay, so maybe I can I now have game against plague engineer, just in case. You've got game. Ensnaring bridge? There's no way they have ensnaring bridge on this deck. I don't know, maybe they do, but like... If they go land bridge... Yeah, I lose to that. Okay, we won the match. We are obviously uh, stupid Euro deck and bad hands. That's a bunch of BS. I'm telling you, it's just a bunch of BS. Match of Ways is only good if you play City of Traitors and Ancient Tomb. Well, that's possible. 
<laughs> I, I don't I still don't know about that. Pity chest acquired. Pity chest. Yeah. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Isn't that another one? Yeah. It's gonna be in that pity chest, who knows? Yeah, we're going for the big the big chest now. Oh, we're up against this guy. We're up against the Legacy Master. Arcan. Actually, hold on. Uh, no, no, he doesn't even go by that username uh, on Twitch. He goes by the Legacy Council. So you want to learn how to play, like, basically every Legacy deck. This guy <laughs> plays everything. I don't know, probably everything but Delver. Uh, go check out the Legacy Council. You're the king of the Gungans. I'm the king of the Gungans, that's right. This guy is a huge Star Wars fan. Basically said, Merfolk are the Gungans of Magic the Gathering. They are that aquatic, they're, I mean, basically Simic. Uh, so it looks like he's going to be on that Uro train, and we are going to keep this hand. It's not really a lovely hand, but that's a hand. Why play subtlety then? I think there's a spot for it. No one expects it. There's, I think subtlety is only good versus initiative decks. I, were, I was looking at cards to beat initiative, and um, uh, subtlety would be amazing because they blow a lot of resources to get that got that creature in play. But the problem is, it's only good versus initiative decks. It's crap against everything else. You don't want to two for one yourself against any creature in any other matchup. What is this? Double white. Oh, it's death and taxes. You want to tax me? Player can't draw more than one card each turn. Okay. You got it, Bob. I guess we'll start. Copy with a this tide thing. shaper. I could. Well, there's nothing to eat up here. This force wheel is getting really bad because I don't really. Ha I I do want to get this tide shaper on a planes. Hand did not turn it out very well versus the death on taxes. I do want to be careful what I copy. But a fa Skyclave apparition. So the funny thing is, I can copy that Skyclave apparition with phantasmal image. Okay, what are you gonna go after? What do you want? You want my you want my vial. How rude. That was a very rude move, Legacy Master. You're gonna attack me for two, three as well. All right, well, I'm gonna attack back for more. Cause that's how I do it. And we get to use our Wasteland. Oh, this is the best use. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take away the Skyclave Apparition before it starts blinking crap. Um, and we can also Look at it, like a big token though. Look at a big token. I wouldn't want them to blink this thing. That'd be very rude. At the same time, like Phantasmal Image is very good with what's it called? Can I just play this game from here? I can go Tide Shaper Attack, play Hex Catcher. No, but I this this is like a pretty big tempo swing. One that he's not expecting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we eat up the this thing. We're gonna get a one. We're gonna get a little bit of an elemental here. A little spirit. And then I'll wasteland the crocus. <laughs> Give me my token. This wasteland won't have a lot of targets, so. No land, no land, no land, no land. Dang it. Field of ruin. Coming to ruin my day. That's my line. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I stole it. <laughs> Haven't seen a regu regular Death and Taxes list in a long time. Death and Taxes is one of the best decks in Legacy. You want to attack? Probably not. I probably don't even want to play Mist Caller. I just probably keep it as Force of Will food. 
Uh, so... I'm assuming... I'm assuming a lot of things. I could just do nothing. I could attack with this illusion and then see what happens. Yeah, this sounds strange, but I'm gonna attack. Oh no, hold on, but if I attack with the illusion and then they target the sky clave, then what do I do? Well, look, I guess, whatever, I just don't care. Whatever, I lose my token. Attack! With this one, one dink. What are you gonna do about that? You're gonna do nothing. That's what you're gonna do. Okay, I'm a bit fearful of, um, Don't be swords afraid. to plowshares. So I'm gonna play the Master of the Pearl Trident. I expect him to field a ruin one of these things and then we'll have mana for our hex catcher. Everything is going according to my plan. <laughs> Path? Or swords? Feels like swords is swords. in the air. Their swords are in the air. Da -da. What's this? What's this? You want to hold on to your swords? So you're sort of behind here. I guess if you keep swords for Master of the Pearl Trident, I can't really do a whole lot here. So you got a lot of manas. The manas is plenty. Is Merfolk one of the best decks in Legacy? Hard to type that without laughing. Uh, I doubt it. At least not yet. So you're gonna tickle the Skyclave. Of course it will. Uh, maybe I just don't care. Of course it will. Well, I don't want to force a will because I think I really need to force a will. Um, a swords to plowshares. So you attack for three. Actually, I have a huge army. Okay, I'm going to let that resolve and then we're just going to race. I will uh, force a will the swords. Hopefully there's not going to be a bunch of shenanigans between, behind all these cards. Okay, that's fine. I'll take three. Hopefully I'll attack back four. Because I'll just attack back for four. It'd be nice to draw a random blue card now. So I can play Mist Caller. Not random enough, in my opinion. Okay, so... No, you know, it is a random. It is random enough. Okay, so I'll play... play this. Actually, it works pretty well against Flicker Wisp, too. Yeah, okay. I won't come back. Now, I will attack for three. And now, the point is that if they try to play the swords, I flash and Hexcatch or sack the Mistcaller. And then, I still have Force of Will up for the future. And also, this 1-1 one, one Illusion will deal with this guy. Maybe they don't have swords. It's just a huge bloof. Just a huge bloof. Why didn't I put Hex Catcher in play and eat the spirit? Maybe you meant this call. Oh, this thing? Oh, the pro. Uh, I, uh, I have to go back. I don't remember. Okay, attack for six. Fine. Go to eight. When I need to, I can chump block with the stupid illusion token. Okay, I play Hexcatcher. How many swords do they have? Shoot, they have like three swords of plowshares in their hand. Don't do it, Archon! Don't do Solitude! It's honestly, it was not what I was expecting, but that makes sense too. Perfect timing. All right, let's, uh, damn it. I need a random blue card in my hand. Okay, how much do I attack for? Some amount of damage. Ah, 
I can die in so many ways here. Like, I sort of have to block with this illusion token. Did they missed a land drop? I think not. So maybe they, they could be flooded. So if they flicker with the illusion token... This was the worst time to pick up a force of will. Anything else would have been fine. Why is Sword so good compared to Path to Exile? Just because it's one mana doesn't ramp your opponent. Like, with the life you gain from Swords to Plowshares is so insignificant. Like, you basically, like... What the hell? That's an interesting line. Eight. So I'm still forced to chump block. If they attack with everything. And I still have lethal on the way back. I should take care of the big chunky guy. The big chonker. Oh no, but if this thing dies... I'm in a lot of trouble anyway. Um, okay. Go to two. I have to win next turn anyway. I have Lord, no Lord, choice. Lord, Lord, Lord. Stoneforge. Okay. So I need any lord... Any Lord wins. Lion Sash. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can't you play that? Uh, okay, we're dead. <laughs> we are dead. Island Walk Lord! Because they would, they were, they were going to, yeah, that's, that makes some sense too. Island Walk Lord still wins, I guess. No matter what they take. Island Walk Ward is, uh... Actually, they should hit Tide Shaper. Oh, that would take God. away my Island Walk. Okay, anyway, we dead. Oh, well. It was a close one. We did our best. We are up against a lot. Maybe I could be a little bit more... Well, I was still, like, quite a few life points down. I was playing around Swords to Plowshares, when I guess I didn't need to. Dismember is a good card in this matchup. And the rest doesn't really matter. Cards poor in this matchup. Uh, Mistcaller is not great. Probably just take out Mistcaller. I have enough early stuff. You do want Phantasmaluge to pair with uh, Hexcatcher. I think Force of Will is great. You just force it, like, Force of Willing that Solitude. The first one was amazing. It's a two for two. Or, or sorry, like, even if you can Force of Will, like, a hard cast Solitude, like, like that's worth it. Um, and also, like, Death and Taxes is a bit chunky. Like, I don't have that big of a problem with playing the Death and Taxes matchup. I can't remember, isn't there, there's, like, Thalia that you could bring Caracas in. I guess that's it. Okay, that's how I'm going to sideboard. So the turn they field have ruined you, you said, I'm going to put a Hexcatcher into play, and then you didn't. You could have eaten the Spirit of the Labyrinth with a 4-4. With force backup. And, oh no, but on their turn they had a they had their all mana up. Like all mana. Like so if they have two swords, I'd get blown out hard. Would you like to play first? Yes. So if they have two swords to plowshares, I get crushed. Uh but on my turn, they only had they only had one white source up after the field of ruin. So after when I play in Hex Catcher, or So I'm thinking about a line if uh, we went to combat. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. We can put one of the vials to three and put True Name ne Nemesis in play. They had Flicker with They played Flicker Wisp, so only one mana. They mulligan. I'd have to see how many cards that they have. Maybe you're right. It's just, it's, it's, um... It's very risky. Hold on, okay, so I'm gonna play a land. Merfolk. Because they have to, to some extent, assume that we're going to play... Or maybe they just weren't playing around Force of Will. That's possible. Port. Pretty useless by itself. I do not have... Uh, Vile is better in their deck than ours. Oh, no. Um, I guess... I'm going to play the second Vile... Because I would, uh, the port is not that dangerous, but what I would like to do is hit the, um, 
the white source and then make them only play off of their vile mana. I mean, they have a lot of lands in this deck, so it's not going to be that big of a deal, but still, it'll be something. The games overall are, are, are pretty good. They're okay. We don't look to be very favored in this in this game because this is going really... If we get... I don't know. If we draw a second true name or... What's it called? Um, if we draw a second true name and maybe a... Or, or a Phantasmal Image, we're probably favored to win this game. Uh, at the moment, I'm going to dismember this Stoneforge Mystic. They get Cauldron Complete. That's totally fine. I'll leave that stranded in your hand, and then I can play Tide Shaper on the Krakus. Okay card, I guess. Plain cycling. Cycle away. I guess I'm not going to put the Master of the Pearl Trident in play. There's no point. Uh, I'll hold it up for Force of Negation. Sorry, Force of... Force of Will! Force of Will. Oh, now you have more. Yeah, now we have more. Okay, we'll attack for it with, for two with Tide Shaper, I guess. See what happens. Are you going to unlock the power? This is going to be like Thalia. Okay, so if they block... Uh, it's so awkward. Not really. So if they block the swords, I can force, I can eat up their Thalia, but this is like not great value out of my force of will. Um, okay, I guess I let you block. They definitely have swords to plowshares or something, and we definitely have to fight. Oh, wow. Oh, they're going to wait for the damage step. That's very accurate of the Legacy Master. Oh, they just let it die. All right. Force, pitch. Alternatively, I just let this all die. I have a force of will for, like, the next big thing. But that is a 2-2 two -two body. No, all right, we're going to keep, keep our stuff. I'd rather keep our stuff, please. Does becoming a YouTube member give access to the Discord or is it Patreon only? Both of them. You just have to uh, you just have to connect your your Discord. That's all. You get access. Both get get. I made sure that everything gives the same damn thing. Oh no, the Ether Vial's on three. Ooh, that was GJ. Okay, that sucks too. That's a problem. If like if you don't get a lot of damage through versus this deck, like I mean, you can still lose. Okay, like I said, we need another true name. We didn't get it. Hmm. What's on three? There's a lot of good stuff on three. Guess I'm just gonna attack with true name and uh, everything. Oh, welcome to the Nikachu crew, oh nickel. So if they got Flicker Wisp, that's a problem. If they have Skyclave Apparition, that's a problem.
Oh, no blocks. I guess they have nothing. Maybe I could have attacked with that mass of the Pearl Dragon too. What is this, Recruiter of the Guard? Okay. So they get to look for, again, Skyclave Apparition or something. Flicker Wisp. Oh, God. The value. Here come the value. If I could have got early with some damage here, we would just be so close to finishing them off. But now we're, like, so far. And what? This can find Solitude, too, right? You can do whatever you want. I find in this matchup, one true name is not really enough. But two true names is enough. Two true, tr two true names will get the job done. Valley was online, he can't play. Oh, that's right! Oh, I punted there. I could have been way more aggressive with that Thalia in play. Uh, Alright, there's a College of Completes. On their turn. Hmm, this is not terrible. Okay, so what? If I, draw, if I draw a Lord, do I win? This is... 5, 4... Oh, no, probably not. They're going to get Solitude here. So usually I have Toughness 2 or less, so they can get Solitude to guarantee that I can't race. Yeah, they got Solitude. Okay, so I need another Lord. Well, even a Lord... I, I, I need another True Name, to be honest. True Name is good. True Name is the name. Okay, sure. Pitching Mother of Runes. I sort of like that he did that before I draw, because now if I draw a Lord, I can just attack with both. That's not what I want at this point. So if I attack with both Tide Shaper and True Name, get them to block with Flicker Wisp. In some in some manner, I am racing here. All right, I guess we have to attack with everything. Then I can blow up the Caracas. Yeah, I needed another true name a long time ago. I sort of have a feeling of like what car or sorry, what kind of hands are good in this matchup. You do you do want to put some pre like you do want to put pressure on them and it's hard it is hard to put pressure on the opponent okay so they are gonna block I'll play wasteland hit the crocus and pass But I'm probably pretty dead. Still, because they can activate. Put Gta in play. They're not very far. They could probably put Solitudes in play now. With the Aether Vial. This is not useful to me right now. In respect, did I flood out? I have one, two. Well, maybe not really. I just didn't have high impact threats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's not unreasonable. Oh, it's unreasonable. No, it's it's quite reasonable. Maybe if they didn't have vile, we'd have had a better chance. 
And I can't block this stupid thing because, well, damage can't be prevented. Is that what it says? Whenever this, uh, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, exile that creature. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature. How does this work? I, like, blocked this thing once and it died. Creep creature gets plus plus five, first strike trample, indestructible haste, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, exile that creature. Well, I guess the thing is, like, it deals damage, but it just doesn't die. But whenever it gets dealt damage, it gets exiled. Uh, I cannot beat anything here. So I'm going to resign. Another 3-2 in the books. Have I done better than 3-2 on camera? I don't think so. It's I've, been... I've seen a 5-0 with my own eyes, though. Did you? I was here. I have had many... F I've had four 5 zeros with... Well, like, merfolk in general. Okay, hold on. Let's get to the deck tech. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Okay, so we lost Force and Negation. What did we lose to? We lost to an Uro deck and Death and Taxes. <laughs> Looks like it's it's not that bad. The extra Mistcallers helped us. So, I mean, it's possible that we could play without Force Negation in the sideboard. It's also possible... Well, a lot of things are, are possible. I don't know where to stretch the deck or where to go. There's other deck cards I'd love to play test. I'd love to play test Stifle. I'd love to play test Days with True Name Nemesis. I think Days I think Days is good versus Death and Taxes. I, uh, I bet it would be bad versus Uro. It would just be absolutely terrible. Some of us MTG content creators still play more folk. We know who he's... Who said Who said what? You're the, pref, the professor low-key shouted you out recently. <laughs> Some of us, MTG content, yes, yeah, some of us, we knew it. And it's good, it's good. It, uh, th there's something here, all right? Like I, I, there's a ton of us going like 4-1-5-0 in Legacy. I'm doing the same thing, but uh, honestly, no results yet at like the big top level. You got Ma that Italian booster. Huh? You got I got, yeah, I got it. Well, a lot of other people get Italian boosters and stuff. Like this is, I guess 3-2 is the worst I'm doing right now. Not bad. Well, it, three two is not bad, but I want to win. I want to do great. I, I can't tell if sur would have surgical extraction do anything differently. No, is it death and taxes is like death and taxes is all about. It can be about um, getting a bunch of lords early and then going all in, but uh, it's usually heavy on still true name nemesis and phantasmal image. Although when I played Days, it was sort of nice because like they play, they like tap out if they don't have Vile, or even you go turn one Vile, they go Vile you Days, or they go like at some they're a chunky deck, right? So at some point they're tapped out and you like Days them either for Solitude or a three drop or something. It's a great tempo swing, but I I don't really want to go back on the Days plan. Changes I don't know. Like I said, uh, this is no, this is not the shell. Merfolk, where's the shell? Default deck. This is like, I think the deck by default. And then whatever we want to add in between is all up to people's imagination. But this this I present to you, I think is like the default deck. Uh, and it, so it's it, it could be different by an entire 13 cards. So I take it to the Murpho community. Whoever can figure it out, figure it out. But people have been winning with my lists. And so, I don't know, maybe I just need to run better in the challenges or something. Do you know when you'll stream Modern next? Yeah, in a few minutes. And with that, we're going to play some Modern. So everyone uh, for watching, uh, everyone who's watching the replay, that's it for today. And I'll see you all next time.